Right, Colombian authorities are continuing to search for the father of the Liverpool forward Luis Diaz, who was kidnapped over the weekend. Diaz's mother was also abducted, but has since been freed. Colombia's director of national police posted this video, and the country have also mobilised troops. Colombia's interior minister has suggested the kidnappers have escaped to a mountainous region near the border of Venezuela. Diaz's mother is safe and was unharmed. Now, you may have seen these pictures as well. Diaz's Liverpool teammates showing their support on Sunday following Diogo Jota's goal against Nottingham Forest. He held up a shirt with Diaz's name on the back. Jurgen Klopp also admitted afterwards that it was a very difficult build-up to the game. Quite unimaginable. Joining us live now is the South American football expert, Tim Vickery. This is such a disturbing story, isn't it, Tim? What's been the reaction to this in South Africa, uh, South America, I should say, and Colombia itself? Well, this is a huge trauma for Colombian society. Um, these kind of kidnappings, if you go back a few years, they were going at a rate of something like 4,000 a year when uh, the FARC guerrillas and so on were, were using them to raise funds. Uh, I remember my first time in Colombia. It was the Copa America 2001. First time Colombia had ever staged anything like this. Nearly didn't go ahead because uh, a senior member of the Colombian FA was kidnapped shortly before the tournament. Argentina didn't turn up at the last moment. Mauro Silva, the Brazilian international, checked in at Rio Airport and then got scared and decided not to go. And at Bogotá Airport, his suitcase rather pathetically was going round the carousel. Uh, and uh, these kind of events are real trauma for Colombian society. I remember the Colombians, they were so happy that anyone had gone there to see Colombia with their own eyes and come to the conclusion that there were many other things, many great things about Colombia, not just the negative headlines that people read about in newspapers. Since then, the number of kidnappings has gone down and down and down and down, around 200 a year. Um, but Colombia is in trauma today because, yet again, the world is reading about Colombia for negative reasons. This is a very, very worrying time, obviously, for Luis Diaz and his family. The, the crime of kidnapping, it, it's such a heinous crime, because the criminal has to expose himself at so many points. When he captures the hostage, when he releases the hostage, and all of the time that you have the hostage, in captivity. And there's always the fear, as happened a little bit further north, you might remember in Honduras a few years ago, uh, to the brother of the then Tottenham midfielder, Wilson Palacios, that the kidnappers decide just to cut their losses uh, and that anything could happen then. So this is a very, very worrying time for the Diaz family. Tim, just explain, because you mentioned the fact that kidnappings have gone down. How hard have the authorities in Colombia worked to, to change the image of the country over the recent decades then? extraordinarily hard. Um, one of the problems that they could be facing here, you alluded it to it in, in the introduction, is that it's highly possible that uh, the father of Luis Diaz has been taken across the border to Venezuela. Now, that complicates things enormously. That's another jurisdiction, another country. Relations are not always warm between Venezuela and Colombia. So that is a real complicating factor. And that means if he is there, it doesn't matter how many military and how many police that Colombia use in the search, if he's already been taken to another country. So that, that is a worry also there, um, that uh, they might have got him out of the reach of the Colombian authorities. It, it's quite unimaginable, isn't it? I mean, to be sat here discussing this uh, and to know that Luis Diaz was about to go and play a, f a game of football yesterday. I mean, what, what do we know? What are the details about what ha actually happened to his parents and actually why they've been taken, do you assume? Well, this is unofficial. We don't have this from official sources, but we do have this from sources close to the family. But on Saturday afternoon, his parents drove into a service station and it's there that they were abducted. Four men, uh, two of them got into the vehicle. The other two were an escort on motorcycles. It seems, and as I say, this is unconfirmed, but we do have this from sources close to the family, that at that point there was a shootout between the police and the kidnappers, during which the mother of Luis Diaz was freed, the father remaining in captivity. The father of uh, Luis Diaz, also called Luis Diaz, was uh, his first coach, the youth coach, the first one, one of the first ones to see the potential of his son 
Unfortunately, and there has been a spate of these in South America and Central America uh, over recent years, it's the very success of the player, the very riches that he accumulates as a result of that success that end up making his family a target for this kind of uh, this nefarious operation. Gosh. We, obviously, we've seen the images of Diaz's shirt being held up at Anfield by Diogo Jota. How much has, has that imagery filtered back to Colombia, do you know? Very, very much, yes. I mean, this is... And we had big elections in Colombia uh, yesterday, so that, that's front-page news. But Luis Diaz is, set, is certainly the second story all over Colombia at the moment. And, and the solidarity that he's getting given from the players is important. One former Colombia international... The fullback Camilo Zuniga played at Watford briefly. He has suggested on social media that Colombian footballers down tools in protest while this situation uh, is, uh, is is left unresolved. So that there is plenty of solidarity for Luis Diaz. If that's going to help get him home, that I'm afraid is another question. It must be terrifying for any Colombian right now watching this and, you know, perhaps people that are living here now um, in terms of, of how they react to this. It's obviously devastating for Diaz as well. How damaging is this situation for Colombian football, do you feel? Well, I think it's very damaging for the image of the country. Mm. Uh, as I say, when I was there for the first time, and I've been back several times there in 2001, and I had, just to give you an example, I had taxi drivers refuse to charge me, refuse to take money, because they were so happy that people had gone to their country and seen that there was so much that Colombia had to offer. Since then, Colombia has become an established destination for tourism, something which helps the local economy. And obviously, that tourism industry will be harmed by the kind of headlines generated by the kidnapping of Luis Diaz Sr., so it, it, it's, this is a very, very bad moment for the country. Colombians will feel bad about what's happening in their country. They'll feel very bad about the fact that the world is reading about the negative side of their country. Clearly, the priority is to get Luis Diaz Sr. back home as soon as possible. The stain on the country's re reputation, unfortunately, will, uh, will, will be hard to wipe away. As always, thank you so much for your time today. My pleasure. Thank you.